Hi everyone, it's me again. I'm going to show you some uh, non-specific shoulder strengthening exercises today. Kindly note, like in some of my previous videos, I emphasize non-specific. So it's a general strengthening program. If you have a specific uh, muscle that needs to be strengthened, and usually most of the cases, there is a disbalance of uh, ratio between muscles. So you need to discuss this with your physical therapist to do a perform proper assessment and then identify the muscles that need, need uh, strengthening. Uh, in this program, I'm gonna sh show you some general uh, strengthening exercises I prescribe to my patients. So I start always with some warm up. We're gonna do 10 circles clockwise with your shoulders. Then you're gonna perform 10 circles. Make sure that your shoulder blades touch on, uh, behind. You're gonna do counterclockwise. 10 reps. Then you're gonna position your uh, uh, upper arm 90 degrees from your body. You're gonna go internal rotation, external rotation. You're gonna do this for 10 reps. Nice and easy and slowly. Again, these are non-specific exercises and they should not cause any pain. So you're gonna do 10 reps of these to warm up. Then I like to use this ball with my patients. So we're gonna transfer the ball on the front. Then we're gonna go behind try to reach as far as possible, and then transfer on the front. So you're gonna do clockwise direction, 10 reps, right? And then you're gonna do counterclockwise. You're gonna go opposite direction. Try to keep your body as still as possible. Another exercise with the ball will be just transfer the ball above your head and behind your back. So above your head and behind your back. Okay, you're gonna do 10 reps clockwise and then you're gonna do 10 reps counterclockwise or just opposite direction to make it more easier okay so when you do 10 reps of all of these you can do another set of 10 reps so two to three sets of warm-up before starting this exercise program I'm gonna show you as well you can uh, give this uh, routine to your uh, uh, patients who are uh, uh, weightlifting and uh, doing exercises and strengthening in the gym so they can perform these before their lifting routine. Okay, so let's start. I'm gonna show you three uh, of my favorite exercises. Two of them are in prone, which is lying on your belly, uh, and one is side lying. So let's start. You're gonna lie down on the edge of your bed with your head, head hanging over the edge. So you're gonna raise the head up, stay three to five seconds, and you're going to slowly go back to your starting position. Here I'm using 450 grams for demonstration purposes. Of course, you're going to start with no resistance and then you're going to build it up as strong as you get. So let's demonstrate again. We're going to go up as much as you can. Stay here three to five seconds. Make sure you hold it well and back to start. Okay, so you're going to repeat this one 10 reps. Second one is extension. It's opposite of this what we did now. So you're going to go backwards all the way as much as you can and engage your shoulder blade in a retraction. So like you want to pinch your shoulder blades together. Then go back to starting position. Relax, let your hang, uh, hand hang over the edge. Then again, gentle extension, slowly, slowly, slowly. Make sure your shoulder blades touch and stay in this end range, three to five seconds, come back to starting. That's your second exercise in prone or lying on your belly. Both of them are 10 repetitions. Now I'm going to show you the one lying on the side. So you're going to support your head, your elbow just uh, on your pelvis, and uh, uh, the hand will go in internal rotation touching your belly button, and then in external rotation as far as you can. Don't raise your elbow, keep your elbow tucked uh, against your body, and go in internal rotation, uh, press against your belly button, then you're going to do external as you go out in external rotation make sure that your shoulder blades engage in retraction and then come back to starting press on your belly button then go in external rotation stay there for a second or two and come back so this one as well going to be performed 10 reps you start with no resistance and then build it up uh, as uh, stronger you get so to continue i'm going to show you something with elastic band so you position your elbows 90 degrees tucked in next to your body. One hand is fixed, 
the one you're going to train is going to go in external rotation. So you're going to have the resistance of the band fixed from the left hand side. You're going to do external rotation on the right. Hold five seconds, come back to starting position. So you see it's a small movement, nothing too big in range, but you're going to feel this in your shoulder straight away. Don't make the band too tight. The closer you keep it, it's tighter. If you keep it too wide, the slack is too loose, so it's pointless. So it should be just right. Uh, uh, make sure you, you discuss with your physical therapist how to perform this exercise correctly. But general guidance is 90 degrees elbow tucked into your body. Left one is fixed if you're training the right hand side. You go in external rotation, hold for three to five seconds, come back to starting position. You can repeat 10 repetitions per side. For internal rotation, uh, the best thing you can do at home is to use the door handle. I'm gonna use uh, this uh, form of the pulling machine here. So I'm gonna fix the band, just tie it against it. All right. So internal rotation is opposite. So you need to position your hand in, again, 90 degrees in the elbow, tucked in next to your body. You start from external rotation and you rotate inwards, touching your belly button. So the, the band will be tight as you go into internal rotation. So relax, slowly go back to external rotation. Don't let it go quickly, don't let the band outpower you. So control the movement, go in external rotation and go internal. Touch the belly button, stay three to five seconds, slowly starting position. You can repeat this one as well, 10 repetitions, unless uh, instructed otherwise by your physical therapist. Okay, so I've shown you internal and external rotation. And the last one I'm gonna show you is the uh, wall push-ups. So another very commonly prescribed exercise. So you're gonna put your hands, your hands will be in this position. So right uh, as your shoulder width, you're gonna put them here. You're gonna lean against the door and you're gonna do a push-up. It's very simple, right? The only thing you're gonna make sure you control is your shoulder blades. So your shoulder blades will touch on behind, you're gonna position your hands like this, you're gonna keep your shoulder blades tucked in, touched uh, in retraction, and then you're gonna perform the wall push-up. So put your feet a little bit further away from the, from the uh, door or the wall, keep your shoulder blades engaged and push. Full extension of the elbows, keep those shoulder blades touched together, starting position slowly, and push back. Make sure the shoulder blades are in contact non-stop. So you can start with five repetitions with this one because it can be quite uh, engaging on the shoulder blade. There is another exercise which you, you have to control your shoulder blades in, in uh, protraction, but this is a little bit more advanced uh, exercise that I don't want to show you now. I would like, if you need this exercise, to be shown by your physical therapist. Thank you again. These are the most commonly prescribed exercises. Thank you for watching and uh, my apologies for a bit uh, longer video. Thank you.